<laughs> now we have the crotch shot, just so you know. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you just use that. Just use the crotch shot. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy. My guest today is the star of the most romantic trilogy of films since Lord of the Rings. It's Noah Centineo. <laughs> hey, buddy. Such a romantic series, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, do you, how do you think uh, Lara Jean and Peter compare to Frodo and Sam? Well, I think I think uh, Peter Kavinsky is based off of Peter Jackson, actually, in his, in his adolescence. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I didn't think we could uncover new facts about this film series, go, but go, we got yeah. our first exclusive. These characters have kind of entered the pantheon of great romantic characters in cinema. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Who would have? Not me. I definitely would have. Let's talk about these two characters and, and apply them to other famous cinematic um, uh, scenarios. For instance, <laughs> like uh, the end of Titanic. How do your characters handle the door at the end of Titanic? I have a feeling that it would it would most likely be the same exact ending oh, as no. with Leo. No. Yeah. yeah, I think Leo, I think Peter and Leo would both perish at the end of it. <laughs> what about, you can't change great writing. You just can't. <laughs> How would you fare with the uh, famous upside down Spider-Man kiss? I feel like I feel like I would pass out. I don't know how they do that. It's incredible. <laughs> Can you imagine? Where do you stand on um iconic kisses in the rain? The notebook is probably the the top of the mountain, right? My book is is definitely top of the mountain. Have you done some kissing in the rain? How do you handle that? I you know I don't think I've done enough kissing in the rain. If I'm if I'm truly thinking about it, it doesn't rain a lot in LA. In LA, it's just kissing in the smog. It's not the same thing. Yeah, just, I'm kissing <laughs> in the smog. <laughs> That's good. Where do you stand on on deal breakers in relationships generally? You know, long distance is a big part of this new film. Is is a long distance relationship a deal breaker? Do you need to be in the same town? No, not really. I like space. I think having space is super important. Um, I, I'd say if somebody is incapable of communicating, it's not an immediate deal breaker, but I think over time it definitely like would be the end of a relationship for me. What, what, what if she hates utensils? What if she insists on ju just using her hands to eat? Or everything. Everything. Soup, porridge, whatever. <laughs> I'd have to see. Depends. <laughs> but it depends. Okay, okay. She might be... What, what if she's never seen any of your films? What if, dare I say it, she's never no seen your work? That's so fine with me. <laughs> what if she's only seen your work, Noah? What if the only- uh, that, that, That's a bit of a deal breaker, I think, if she's seen What if uh, she insists on calling you Peter? No. <laughs> <laughs> awkward, a little awkward? Ah, this used to be crazy. No, I have to call you Peter. My name's Noah, but you're Peter to me. I would try it. It wouldn't be an immediate deal breaker. Okay. We can try give it. A, give it a whirl. As you know, on Sir Crazy, we've got a series of challenges for you. My first challenge for you, my friend, is something we call really cold reads. I just put a bunch of ice cubes. Don't choke don't yourself. We need you, your life, and your career. So don't... I gotta, don't... Stay, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta stay around for the seventh to all the boys. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, he's going for it. While you... Oh. <laughs> he's committed to his craft. <laughs> Oh, what? You complete me. Oh, you complete me. That's good. Yeah. At first, I thought you were doing Chewbacca. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> I wish I knew how to quit you. What? I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> don't, make, don't make me laugh. Okay. I have no idea. Can you do it one more time? I wish I knew how to quit you. I wish I knew how to quit you. <laughs> you're too good at this. Here's looking at you, kid. I don't know if you're just good at this or you're not putting enough ice in your mouth, man. I don't know. Yeah, next time I'm gonna okay. really stuff. Okay, here we go. Next time I'm gonna stuff. Okay. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go, Jack. <laughs> it's because you primed me. <laughs> we did the Titanic thing earlier. That's what you get smart. I see what I, I see what you're doing. All right, this is the big one. This is it. Okay. You either die in this one or you win there's no there's no in between <laughs> i've never seen a man put this much ice in his mouth before this is the first for me okay nope nope <laughs> not even close <laughs> we almost lost you he did i can't feel my cheeks okay hold on bro <laughs> Must break my heart into a thousand pieces. Oh, 
break my heart into a thousand pieces. You got it. That's what it is. Can you still feel your, feel your mouth? Are you okay? I can't even hear you. That's how cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Noah, you are going to be playing a superhero opposite The Rock in Black Adam. Yes. This is a Adam Smasher. Adam <laughs> Smasher. So, um, are you calling The Rock DJ, Dwayne, The Rock? Are you texting? What's the status of the relationship? That's my homie. I call him my homie. <laughs> Does he answer to I that? I met him once. I met him once uh, via Zoom. Uh, and I and I told him that I was coming for his squat game. <laughs> um, and I mean it. Uh, Are you ready to get into the gym with him and show up his uh, his massive calf I, muscles? I put him to shame. All right, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you what. You don't see how much weight he's squatting in his videos, and that's because he's afraid. Whoa, he knows. fighting words. You haven't no. you haven't started shooting, buddy. You might want to watch what you're saying. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like the way he talks about my work ethic. Get it. <laughs> I was reading about Adam Smasher. I didn't know much about this character. His real name, at least in the comics, is Albert Rothstein. Are you yeah. are you talking to me to research what it's like to play a Jew? Are you playing me, basically? <laughs> so now you understand why we're doing this. I'm happy that, you, that you're aware. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> okay, I, I have one um, a Black Adam style challenge for you. Since you and Dwayne have amazing physiques that sometimes can't be told apart, let's see if you can see from these photos who's who. Is this Dwayne or is this you? Who is it? You're sliding your own body. <laughs> so you think it's a hand? Oh yeah, it definitely looks like a hand. I, I see the meta, the metacarpus. <laughs> I think it's him. I think that's Dwayne. Let's see. Oh, ah! Well done. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's me. That's your chin? I'm gonna go as far, damn it. I was about to say, I'm gonna go as far to say that's me on a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> he knows his body. Oh. <laughs> it's me. Look at that disgusting mustache. Let's see it. And then it's him. It's him! Oh, <laughs> oh wow. You just told The Rock he has a disgusting mustache. I didn't mean it. I was thought I was talking about myself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Agree, you got that eyebrow smile thing? He's great. That's gotta be Dwayne. You're saying that's his eyebrow? It's like, up, uh, what, what part of the body? Yeah, perfect. You got it. All right. We did two of him in a row. It's gotta be me. Oh, you're playing the averages. Okay, let's see it. Hey. That is a muscle I just do not possess. Congratulations. What is what is this like a finger or maybe one of the parts is shaded? I think that's me though. You think it's you? The skin looks very light. Okay, going by color of the skin. You think oh it's no, you? wait, wait, wait. No! <laughs> you, you sensed it as soon as you said it, you knew you were wrong. I knew, I knew this was the picture that this was oh, really? right before you changed it. Yeah, <laughs> I went, This is him in that turtleneck thing in my head. I was like, Ah, some stupid would you rather questions for you, buddy. You ready? Would you rather only play teenagers the rest of your career or only play 80 year olds the rest of your career? 80 year olds. You're done, you've retired the teenagers? All I've done for the last 15 years is teenagers. Fair enough. <laughs> Would you rather get the entire love letter from two all the boys tattooed uh, on your butt or get I love uh -huh. Lana tattooed on your face? I'd have to go for the butt. It's not gonna change your career, I guess. Like the face is- I feel like I can continue to work with that tattoo on my ass. Right, it's a, it's a fun reveal to your, your lover when it comes time to that. Oh, by the way, check out my butt. Have you seen? Yeah. Have you seen? Fun, <laughs> funny story. <laughs> Would you rather be stuck in your house for six months or stuck in a prom that lasts for six months? Yeah, house, every time. <laughs> Frickin' house. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think I could last longer than like an hour at a real prom. It's a lot. We call this the Dakota Johnson Memorial question. She posed this to me on a previous episode. Would you would you rather have a mouthful of bees or one bee in your butt? And they're stinging? Oh, that's a good follow-up. No one's ever asked that. I mean, the law of averages, probably, it's a bee. That's what they do. Right, that's what they do? No. <laughs> Just no to either option? <laughs> It's not how it works. Oh, no. No, I, no. I thought you were just like, nah, no, I, I, do, I, no, I reject, I, gonna, I reject your question. I know what you're trying to do, and I'm just not going to play. I'm not going. I would take, I would take the mouthful of bees. Okay, but they are an endangered species. Oh, but then it's like, yeah. the environmental and humanitarian answer might be, I'll take the butt, just because it's, you're only doing damage to one bee. You've already put more thought into this than I have, so congratulations. Well, it turns out I do know how to quit you because we're out of time, Noah. No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs>